We're excited to share our new rosemary brush, the Red Dot R3. This is a beautiful mop with this quill style of binding. It's got wire and plastic encasing the fibers. Red Dot synthetic fibers are just beautiful. They're absorbent, hold a fine tip, and they're softer than other synthetic fibers we've tried, though you'll still get a bit more spring than a uh, sable or squirrel. So I'd like to demonstrate today a little painting to show some of the range that this beautiful absorbent brush can do also with its great fine point. I'm just gonna wet my page, laying in some water, and I've got a sunset scene in mind. I love having a big brush for painting skies. Typically, I'll wanna have my paints pre-mixed, but today, and I'm working on a relatively small surface, so I think I'm just gonna be able to grab some of my colors. Starting out with a little Hansi Yellow Medium, thinking about some of my sunset colors, dropping this in near the bottom of my painting, adding a little extra because I really want them to be vibrant and watercolors sneaky, and that it always dries lighter than when we put it on. Next, I'm gonna bring in a little bit of a quinacridone rose or pink. Drop that in. Might tilt my paper a bit to let the colors blend. You can see this nice wide brush can really flow across the paper. Big brushes make for big ideas. And finally, I'm getting some ultramarine blue. I might throw in a little bit of my favorite in and thrown. Drop that in the top. Sometimes when working on skies, I'll turn my painting upside down and tilt it when I'd like these gradients to blend together a bit, to have a little bit more control over how the colors blend. And now I'll set this aside to dry. Now that the initial wash is dry, I'm going to add on some foreground elements. And I'm inspired by the silhouettes of winter trees um, over the sunset. And uh, I've mixed up a little bit of a tree tone with Indian Throne Blue, Neutral Tint from Daniel Smith, which is just a really uh, wonderful sort of shortcut to dark. And then I'm just taking a little bit of my puddle of the Hansi Yellow Medium to make a green similar to Perylene Green, which is another favorite of mine. And now the tip of this R3 can just create some really wonderful trees. And I love just dancing trees on the paper. I often start with an initial line, keeping them light and dancing the tip back and forth to create some trees. And for my other tone, I'm gonna to be using Indian Throne Blue and a little bit of another favorite color of mine, Deep Scarlet, to create a nice purple. And I'm gonna come in here for the deciduous trees, letting the tip of the brush create these little fine lines, thinking about silhouettes. Might dilute it a little bit more so that the yellow can really shine through. And this is what I love about the R3, is the mix of this broader brush and finer tip. And anytime you have a new brush, Inviting yourself to just play with it is such a terrific way to learn. Not worrying about perfection, just play. I think I'm just about done here. The only thing I feel is I want a little bit more variation in height. So I'm gonna do something I don't usually do, which is come back in and adjust. I want a little more rhythm of some taller and some shorter. There we go. Above all, it's just about play and experimentation. We hope you love this brush as much as we do and would love to hear your experiences with it.